here we come and the bird's going to drop us off unceremoniously somewhere all right <laughs> you're on top of my head Top. Excellent. <laughs> Get off. Take, no. Take <laughs> me to the bird. Damn you, you <laughs> Oh no. Welcome to the tenth world, warrior. I'm Hugin. Sent you to guide you in your travels. The megaliths surrounding you are the sacrificial stones. They represent the forsaken, which you must slay in order to ascend to Valhalla. That's nice. Oh, no, Valhalla. We're in Valheim. Ah, oh, I thought it said Valheim. Hmm. There's more stone around and the starting. He's buggered off. Look at The stone is Vigvasir. Magical stones are scattered throughout the islands by Odin as signposts pointing towards the ritual grounds of the Forsaken. If inspected closer, this one will reveal the summoning place of Ekathir. Your first prey is a mighty beast, so you should. So you need to properly arm yourself before you even attempting to defeat him. Okay, so Ekathir is actually just north of us. Well, one of them. There's a couple. Ah, um, oh, it sucks being back in the beginning. I can't just whip out a pickaxe and get some stone. Now I have to find all the loose ones. Hey, running skill improved. Alright, okay, I can go after stone axe. And a hammer. And a club. <laughs> um, Alright, let's see if the dandelions. Jeez, this bird is very chatty. Go away. <laughs> Just keeps popping up like. Yeah. We've met before in a different life. Sounds like I've attracted some attention already. Up. Ah. Okay. Crafting stone axe, I need more wood. Okay, bird, what have you got to say? Take stock with your inventory. Most items must be crafted. However, due to your recent departure from Midgard, you will have to recall the true shapes of objects. Just pick things up and it'll all come back to you, I'm sure. <laughs> My lesser brother, Munin, tells me one can fashion a stone axe out of wood. Stone. Come a lesser brother knows more. Mm. Mm. I think we got I think we got the, the dodgy pigeon. Yeah. <laughs> pigeon Vista. <laughs> Raspberry. Mushrooms. Right, ideally <laughs> like I was saying, if we if we want to build a base, let's we need to try and find the coast. So yeah. that we can at least have a place when we finally get there to launch a ship. Although I mean we can build a raft pretty early, but yeah. A tasty morsel. You found a snack. Consume it to improve your health and stamina. Be aware that before long you'll grow hungry again, so always try to have at least a couple of different meals handy. Yeah, this is something interesting in, in Valheim is that you know, if you just eat one type of food, your health doesn't uh, increase very much, but you need to have a combination of foods. Yeah, you've got three three slots. Three different food types that you can eat. Mm. Fruits, veggies and meat. No, no, no. You can eat three different types of meat. Yeah. But I mean like a, a good... It's, I, I'm guessing that the, the idea is to promote like... No. Healthy each you, you hover if you hover over the raspberries you'll see that eating this <clears> will <throat> give you seven health 20 stamina mm. mushroom will give you 15 health 15 stamina yeah. um, okay I've got some ball meat but it's and not cooked healing. yet so each each item gives you more so um, <clears throat> it'd be like up to you do you want to have like a lot of health and very little stamina added or a lot of stamina and low health to be able to like run and block and yeah. everything or a balance and then you find the foods obviously i mean i haven't gotten there but i can only assume that um lox lox meat or anything made with lox meat probably like is makes you horrendously strong yeah 
But all I know is that once once you get to the Bronze Age and you can make a cultivator, um, apparently the best food, one of the best foods you can have there is carrot soup. And I think if you once you head into the swamp and you unlock um, turnips, then turnip soup is better than carrot soup. But then you can stack them. I think yeah. I've, I haven't tried to. All I know is that I used to eat neck, boar, and deer meat as yeah. my top three. And speaking of necks, I found one, which means we're near water. <sighs> I've still got to work on the timing of being able to parry, honestly. Yeah, there's some water over here as well. Yeah, I found a river. It's going to... Yeah, to the, to the west and Actually, I've, south I've found of... A lake. There we go. I got a parry. Ha! Come, come. Come, come. I need to practice parry. I'm still oh, terrible at it. Leave me alone. <clears throat> I've made a ball friend. Okay, nice, I think I okay. found the ocean. Can I even see you on the map? No, I can't. Oh, wait. Yes, can I you can. see me on the map? I can see okay, you. That, yeah. There's a thing at the bottom of the map saying visible to other players. Just click it. Yeah. There we go. There you go. Now I can see you. I've I found a huge expanse of water over here. And yeah. flint. Which means I won't have to stick with a stupid stone axe for long. Ooh, I found balls. Lots of them. Any two star balls? Ah, oh, okay. <coughs> First grayling. That, that'll teach me to uh, <coughs> eat the raspberries and mushrooms that I pick up. <laughs> there we go. And of course, pigeon wants to laugh at me. Yes, yes, I die. Grayling down. Did you die already? Yeah. I must. I must timed my attempt to parry a ball. Okay. Oh, got some then resin. I, stupidly, I'd already I picked up a mushroom and some raspberries, but guess what? I didn't eat them. Mm, you so didn't eat I them. had 25 health and I got one shot. Oh, that's you. What do you mean, well met? Get lost. <laughs> what? There's a neck. Ah, that's a lot of necks. Pass. Be wary of the weather. When the temperature drops at night, or if you're wet, you will suffer from being cold. This reduces your stamina region. Seeking shelter by an oven fire is your best option when this happens. Dibs on the loot. Oh, you've run off in a totally different direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, just getting some food. Guess I don't need to call dibs on the loot. Ah, <laughs> oh, I forgot. I can't jump high anymore. <laughs> Okay, feathers, arrows, and some coin. Excellent, I need coin. I want to buy Mjolnir, or whatever the hell the belt's name is, as soon as possible. Although we have to find a trader, and the only way we're finding a trader without using the seed investigator is luck. Yep, pretty much. More flint, excellent. I'm almost, I'm almost a carry capacity already. Damn it. Oh, what's it? Okay, we've got a crate, uh, but it uh, looks like you've been there already. Yep. Die, you yeah. grading scum. Okay. Okay, well... Mm -hmm. We can build here. Don't know if you want to investigate the shore for a better spot, but this... Oh, we've got a little, um... Little island. Oh, islands, yeah. Well, it might, just, it might just branch off from the mainland somewhere. Let me just have a look at it. No, it does. And you can cross the river easily, so... Where did that ball go? Oh, yes. Gotcha. Ow! Damn it! Bloody neck! Oh, spears, lo lo unlocking lots of stuff. Ah, the leather scraps. Yeah. That's why I 
started trying to farm boars super early in the water's name, but then you can't bloody kill them until you unlock tin. So, yeah. Okay, so that's still... That's still river all the way. You can bite me. Who said you could bite me? Where's his tail? Did I pick it up already? Looks like this is a little bit higher up on the shore. And what do we have here? Oh, hello. Calling forth a beast, you found the summoning place of the Forsaken. Make the correct offering at the altar and they will come. Apparently, you can't even read a bit of game storyline without being interrupted. This is another yeah, this is summoning spot. Yeah. So in other words, yeah, not... Well, okay, don't build... I don't think you can even build right next to it. Hunt but, his yeah. kin. Yeah, we just need two deer trophies, but uh, yeah. first we should be getting ourselves to flint weapons and leather armor. Yeah. We could try building on top of here. Mmm. Big solid rock. Do we gotta put platforms and stuff down? No, well, I mean, we can't build a hoe until we build a work... Wait, can we build a, a hoe the moment we build a workbench? I think you need, um... What's this then? Ah, uh, no, wait, because... You, you need, need to cover. You, you need to cover the work... No, not, not for a hoe, for a cultivator you need oh, okay. For a hoe is just to, like, flatten ground and raise ground. I think it's... Yeah. From the beginning you can get that. But the thing is, you can't use the workbench unless you give it a little roof and everything. No. Yeah. But you get all the materials back for it, so I'll just put one here. And, uh, yep, I can build a, a, a hoe. Can you, can you use that on rock, though? No, for, for the rock we'd have to... Um, mm. knock it down yeah I mean we'd have to put like support pillars and stuff up yeah we'd have to, to put uh, uh, platforms up the thing is we can't build too low because the the water will come in when it's when it's storm yeah well, that doesn't do anything it just visually looks weird Okay, well then, I don't know, we don't have to build on the rock. Mm. Pick, a, pick a spot for me to... Where's you bring tidings? Why does this pigeon want to talk to me again? What do you want? <laughs> you bought a workbench, the workbench allows to craft complex items as well as giving you access to lots of building pieces to construct with a hammer. Speaking of which, I need to build myself a hammer. Of new stuff unlocked. No, oh, I've really got to get used to this parry because it is freaking amazing. Crafted hammer with this tool, you will raise mighty halls and towering fortifications. Start by building a workbench. This, oh, <laughs> this, this in turn will enable you to construct other things. Yeah, well. Pick a spot. Pick a spot for us to start building. Yeah. I agree, not on top of the rock. Here we go. Look. Simply because it'll. Well, I mean, you can, but you know, you place the floor first, and then you'd have to support the rest with wood pillars. I mean, it just requires wood. We've both got axes by now. This isn't a bad little place, and it's quite close to the water here. There's lots of trees here we could use. And lots of stone here too.
Yeah, this isn't a bad little spot over here. Okay, I'll come to you now. I'm just... Trying to get more leather scraps from the walls. And the tree is suspended in the air. <laughs> Too hard. Oh, that's right, you can't... Cats. Nobody asked you. That's right. Go back to wherever you came from. Ooh. Gotta remember not to kill myself. <laughs> with falling trees. Yes. Oh, okay. And this is nice. There's a there's a rune stone that uh, spawns boars nearby. Uh -huh. Nice. Which yeah, we've got some we've got some berry bushes here as well. That'll give us the opportunity to get ourselves some two star boars for breeding, farming yep. later. Okay, so, where was it? Over here where I am right now. You want to build there? Well, over here on this side of the rocks. Okay, well, I'm going to collapse all my stuff here and bring it. So this area here, there's a nice section here that can be flattened nicely and then we've got all these rocks around here as well so on on this side over here mm -hmm. this area here so between the rocks and the two tree, tree stumps kind of thing pretty much yeah all right, nice little Latin section here. Okay. Um. Old menu. Crafting building. Floors. Why is it not snapping? Here we go. doesn't know where it wants to. Yeah. I'll right. put a floor down there, that's where the fire's gonna go. Alright, oh, okay. That's why I bolted in like that so we can create a chimney. Can't have a torch out and a, a hammer at the same time. Welcome to my life. <laughs> I'm just adjusting the brightness quickly for the recording. Because uh, otherwise, yep, night time's pretty dark. Yeah, I just because I, I I just realised that it's it's super freaking dark and it's not actually seen. Okay, so is it is it just this corner you don't want the floor in? Uh that it's where where it's like a one little one, alcove. Yeah, the one floor square yeah, with an extra okay. wall coming in. That's that's where the fire's going to go. So, yeah, don't build there. Okay, there we go. Right, I think we've got the uh, floor everywhere. Got another piece that isn't freaking sitting well though. 
I think that oh, it's yeah, just... the wall the, the wall's off. Just gonna have to deal with it. Grinding my last gear, but I'm just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> OCD going into overdrive there, isn't it? <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. Oh, there's this huge gap between the two people. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with this roof. This roof is perfect. What can I say? Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Bloody hell. The joys of being a perfectionist. No, I'm not even a perfectionist. It's just like, <laughs> damn. Like, really? Does it have to be like that? Off? <laughs> Hit it when the when these bloody logs start to roll away from you, so you start chasing it, and then it decides to start running backwards. It's like no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, and then it wipes you out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with our house established now, and some storage, and some tool benches and stuff go, that we've got going. This is where we're going to end the first episode, so thank you very much for watching, and uh, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons, leave some comments in the, in the video, let us know what you think, and uh, we will see you in the 10th world next time. Thanks for watching.